Gamecock Chatter this week. We visit with Kyron Samuels, Jacksonville State offensive lineman. Got a carry the other day. Was part of a scrum out there as well. Um, boy, tell you what, offensively, two weeks in a row over 600 yards, and last week right at 500 yards. You guys are clicking pretty good right now, aren't you? Uh, yeah, we're rolling right now. I think that's a credit to the way we work in practice. And uh, Coach Gross and Coach Clark, Coach Smith, all those guys schematically, uh, we do what we do, and we do it very well. Uh, they get us in the right plays. They get us in the right you know, schemes, and we run it. And um, we're very confident. I think with Max and Eli, I think that's awesome having two quarterbacks that we uh, really believe in and get the job done, and we don't miss a beat with either. DeMarcus misses the game, and then you come back, and Miles goes over oh, around 150 yards in this one. So all three running backs, and Eli have been over 100 yards this year. From an offensive line standpoint, I would think you guys take pride in that, don't you? Oh, of course. Uh, our goal is to rush for 300 yards every week and average five yards a carry. So um, those guys are doing a great job making people miss, too. So uh, I think we're just clicking really well as an offense right now. and. Like I said, Coach Gross and the coaches getting us in the right place helps a lot too. But, yeah, we have so many weapons on offense. I mean, we just get a hat on a hat and let those guys work. Now, had you played in this type or style of offense either in high school or in junior college? Uh, actually, in high school, we played in a kind of spray up tempo offense like this. Uh, Coach David Faulkner, who's at Enterprise High School right now, uh, he kind of one of those guru guys like that that love to run those. So, yeah, I was used to running the offense, and I'm actually glad to get back to it. In junior college, it was a little different, a little more – Pro style, kind of without the <laughs> pro style guys to run it. But, yeah, I'm glad to get back into that up-tempo offense that I'm used to running. All right. You came here after a, a junior college. You had three years left here, but at East Central Mississippi. Uh, you come from a football family, as most people know, and, and an uncle played in, in the NFL. Did that lead you into football, or was did you just take to football at an early age? I believe it helped a little bit. I mean, nobody ever put pressure on me to be that guy, you know. Uh, I just grew up being around football all the time, going to Alabama games when I was a kid, going to Redskins games. So I fell in love with that at a young age. So I started playing at five or six years old and just stuck with it. I mean, I played baseball a little bit too when I was little, but uh, I wasn't as good, obviously. <laughs> but, yeah, I just love football. And coming from a football family, it kind of made it easier, especially when nobody put that extra pressure on me. People might think, you know, my uncle being a – all-American at Bama and all-pro in the NFL, uh, that it'd be extra pressure. But it's not. I mean, everybody's very supportive, and he gets me pointers, flies, anything I need to help me. So you talk to him? Oh, yeah, every day. He's, uh, he's in Tuscaloosa right now, assistant with the Alabama team. So we're actually not that far away. So by weeks, I go and see him. And when I was in junior college, he was two hours away, too. So I would go see him all the time. We have a very good relationship. Everybody keeps in touch. All right, we've got to talk about two plays from the game against Tennessee Martin. The the rugby or the scrum there, about a 16-, 18-, 19-yard gain. Talk about that one, and then we'll get to the other play after that. Uh, that was awesome. Well, you know, we actually missed a couple blocks on that play, so we had to <laughs> get in there and push that pile and do what we had to do. But that was awesome going back and seeing that on film and pushing the pile 15, 16 yards. I mean, that was awesome. And Miles kept his feet running, and he ran very hard. And you saw that on that play. That was indicative of the game. I feel like uh, we were the most physical team, and those are one of the plays that you know showed it. And you showed that Demarcus James and the guys don't have anything on you. Uh, fumble and you picked the ball up and thought you had a touchdown for a moment. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I thought if I could have made the guy, first guy miss, I would have had a touchdown. But yeah, that's every lineman's dream, offense, defense, either one. I mean, picking up a ball and trying to score. But I'll take my seven yards per carry average to the grade with me. That's awesome. <laughs> How long has it been since you actually carried the football? That's the first time I've ever carried the ball in the game. <laughs> Uh, I actually, when I was in middle school, I played fullback and got a pass thrown to me, but I dropped it. So that was my first time actually getting the ball in the game. All right. Now, this will be the first time you've played against Tennessee State in the game coming up this week. I guess the guys have talked to you about their, their defense, their size, and just the physical nature with which they play. Uh, no doubt. I was watching film this morning, and uh, they're incredibly physical. Uh, they're incredibly gifted as players. They have a very good D-line and a defense as a whole. And um, we're looking at stat sheets. They're number one in OVC and close to nationally at everything defensively. So uh, this is going to be where we actually see how good we are offensively. We know our defense is going to do a great job, but we really got to practice hard this week and be in the film room doing all the extra things to make sure we go out there and continue what we've been doing. This is one of those with their physical play, sort of check your manhood or test your manhood. Right? Oh, yeah, definitely. This is my kind of game. Uh, Coach Gross always talks about me being nasty and physical, and uh, this is my kind of game. I want to be a, the one-on-one -on -one, you know, blocks, not having the double teams, just being who's the most nasty guy, who's going to do it for four quarters. And I believe you know, uh, our guys will be the ones to do it. All right, big and tough, 
play physical. What's your favorite television show? <laughs> uh, you and uh, even guess, but Grey's Anatomy is my favorite TV show. I, I love Grey's Anatomy. I started watching it a little bit, started again about a year and a half ago on Netflix because they brought it back, and uh, I'm actually caught up, so I'm watching it now. They just started the 11th season, so uh, I love Grey's Anatomy. That's my show. <laughs> so your schedule is planned Thursday night, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, I got a TiVo, even, even if I have a class or a meeting or something, I'll get back and watch it that night. All right. Thanks, sir. Good luck this week. Thank you. Appreciate it. Jacksonville State at Tennessee State Saturday kickoff time at 2 p.m. You can catch all the action along our Gamecock Sports Network beginning at 1 p.m.